Hey guys, it's Nikki. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing more of a back to school makeup look. It's back to school time. Um, where I live right now, a lot of people are starting to go back this week. So I wanted to film this video, kind of something that I did in high school. Um, I really started getting into makeup my junior year of high school, kind of end of sophomore, junior year. And this was the look I tend to usually go for. Um, it was more of the just a natural, everyday look. I mean, I did do dramatic looks sometimes, let's be real, because I'm really extra. But this was kind of a signature everyday look, just using basic colors just to create a very nice basic look. Also too, in this video, I'm going to be using all drugstore aff or affordable products. Every single one of these products you can find at your local drugstore, Walmart, Target, CVS, or even Ulta. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so to prime my face, um, I'm gonna use these two primers. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild uh, Dewy Lumine Face Primer, um, and I'm also gonna use this Milani Prime Correct um, Primer in the center of my face, um, just to kind of smooth everything out. This Wet n Wild Primer is just a very nice dewy face primer. The one thing I like about this Milani Primer, so you can see it kind of has a green tint to it. Um, so it's really going to help color correct in the center as well. So I'm just going to apply this here. So now we're going to go in with eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35F palette. Um, it just looks like this. Now a lot of people are probably going to roll their eyes and say Morphe's not drugstore. And you're right, it's not drugstore, but Morphe is really affordable and they have amazing products. So I would never recommend something just because of the hype. I truly believe that these are amazing products. So that's why I'm going to be using this palette today. Also, it has a really nice um, range of neutral shades. This is a lot of shimmers and then it does have an entire row of mattes. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this um, second shade right here that my pointy finger is pointing at and we're going to use this um, as our transition shade do circular motions basically if you're a beginner with makeup that transition color is going to be fluffed in the crease and a little bit above the crease so you're going to have very little space between the crease and the brow bone and as you can see, I use more of a wider base primer. So you can see a little bit of my primer peeking through, but not much. Um, and that is because you want this shade to kind of peek through all your other colors, and this is going to help blend all your other colors. So how I take this is I apply it in windshield wiper motions, and I also apply it in circular motions. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And it's just a nice mid-tone brown and um, we're just going to apply this directly in the crease of our eye. So same technique, windshield wiper motions and in circular motions. We're just going to apply it directly underneath that transition color. As you can see me doing right here. And we will go back in with that big fluffy brush that we apply that transition color on and blend these two together to make sure that there's a seamless blend and it's not going to look choppy or harsh because even though it's school, you know, you still want to look good, especially if you're doing makeup. You still want to have a bomb ass makeup look. It's so funny when I say that I used to do stuff like this in high school because if you look back at my middle school pictures, ooh girl, I had like the worst makeup in middle school. I always matched my lid color with like my shirt and I did like the raccoon eyes. Ooh, it was really, really bad. I should really do how I did my makeup in middle school because it's, it's, it's rough, let me tell you. So now I'm gonna go in with one of these shimmer shades and I'm gonna go in the outer corner. I'm gonna take this dark brown um, right here and I'm going to apply that in the outer corner of my eye and in the lower crease. And we're going to apply it directly on that outer half of the lid 
So sticking in this outer region, and then I'm going to take some of that on my brush, and we're going to go in the lower crease. So I'm going to go directly underneath both of those crease colors. I know it sounds kind of confusing and kind of like, what in the hell? But if you're new and learning how to do makeup, it's actually really simple. So we're going to do the same thing to the other eye, just like so. And then we're going to go back with our blending brush here and completely blend out these harsh lines. How I blend is I go on windshield wiper motions and circular motions like this just to blend everything together. So I normally take a shimmery color on the lid. Um, so I'm going to take this really pretty bronzy shimmery color today. Um, I don't really use this color a whole lot as you can see as the other ones but we're just going to apply this directly to our lid. I usually switch it up if I applied like a gold or if I did like a champagne. But I'm not even kidding you. If you go back on my Instagram, my Instagram is always in the down bar. Um, if you go back, so I graduated in 2017. So if you look through my Instagram pictures that I uploaded for when I was in high school, you will see that I do basically a look like this on like an every day. And it's something that's like a little smoky. But it's also something that's just very um, easy and very natural. We're going to hold off on the eyes for now. We're going to put this to the side. Um, and now we're going to move on to the face. So for foundation, um, even though this is more of a natural look, I still liked a full coverage foundation for school. So I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution uh, foundation stick in the shade F6. I don't know if you're able to see that. But it just looks like this. Um... It's just like a normal foundation stick. Um, you can get these at Ulta and this is really nice. So I'm just going to apply um, this. I always blend out my foundation with a brush. Um, and then I'll go in with the sponge after. You don't have to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and do eyebrows. Um, I am using the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade right now in the shade Chocolate. Um, it's a little bit more warmer than the Anastasia Dip Brow in Deep Brown or something like that that I always use, but it still matches my brows pretty nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and then I'll be back to finish off the rest of the face. So I got the brows on, um, so now I'm going to apply some concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, in the shade Sand. So I'm just going to apply this to my under eyes here just to conceal and then I'm also going to um, apply it up in the corners of my eyeshadow just to kind of clean that up and angle my eyeshadow up more just because I really like um, how that looks with my eye shape I like to do a winged liner so that really helps with getting um, a good outline of my wing. Typically on a normal glam day for me I'll apply cream contour and highlight and everything but um, for an everyday like you know school look at high school I didn't do that so I'm just gonna take my concealer and apply this to the center of my face um, just to kind of brighten everything up. So this is what I did and I'm gonna bake um, and I'm using this Makeup Revolution um, powder in the shade Lace. Um, so I'm going to bake with this. Just poured some into the cap here and I'm going to take my beauty sponge and we're going to bake on my under eye area. I'm also going to bake the nose, chin. I'm actually going to let that sit and I'm going to do eyeliner. Um, I'm using the Essence Cushion eyeliner. This is um, a brand that's very, very affordable and you can find it at Ulta. I'm going to do a winged liner with this look. You don't have to do a winged liner. That's just what I like to do. I always did a winged liner when I was in high school. Um, not even like when I was in high school, that's just what like I like to do. Um, 
And if you want me to, I can break down and do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do, like, winged liner. I also set the rest of my face with that powder. So now I'm going to apply some lash glue to my lashes. These are the Ardell Studio FX lashes in the style 231. Um, so I'm going to apply some glue and let um, the glue sit on these to get tacky for a little bit. So I'm, I'm going to go back in with this palette and I'm going to take the transition color again and we're just going to apply this um, directly to the lower... Oh, I just poked myself in the eyeball. Now I'm going to go in um, with that darker brown color right here. Um, and we're just going to take this on the lower lash line directly up against the root of the lashes and also to smudging out that eyeliner. Now we're going to take that crease color and we're basically going to do the exact same thing that we did on the top but we're going to just smudge out that lower lash line and basically with this you just blend all the colors together until they all kind of mesh and you can bring this as far down as you want to now I'm gonna go in with this first color right here which is just this shimmery metallic color and I'm just gonna apply this in the inner corner to brighten I'm just gonna apply some mascara this is the Maybelline colossal big shot for bronzer I'm gonna take this NYC bronzer in the shade uh, Montauk Bronze. I'm just going to bronze up um, our face with this. To contour, um, I don't have like an actual contouring product from the drugstore that I like, so I'm just going to take my contour brush and I'm going to take the lighter color in the bronzer and we're just going to contour um, with this. That works pretty good. For blush, I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk blush. Um, this is in the shade Flamingo. So it just looks like this. It's just a nice um, bright pink blush. Um, I don't think the camera's picking up how bright this actually is. But we're just going to apply this to the cheeks just to give a nice pink um, flush. For a highlighter, I want to do something that matches um, kind of how this look is more bronzy. Um, so this is the Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter in the shade Hollywood Boulevard. Um, I know now they have this same highlighter, but it's named different. It doesn't have the Fergie logo on it, but it just looks like this. Um, it's just a nice gold highlighter, um, so I'm going to apply this to my cheeks I'm also going to take the same highlighter and apply it to my brow bone alright so for lips um, I'm going to be taking this NYX um, soft matte lip cream um, this is in the shade London I feel like this is just a classic iconic lip color Now I'm just going to set my face with some NYX uh, Matte Finish Setting Spray. So this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to show you guys just some easy, affordable drugstore products you can use to achieve a full face of makeup, especially for back to school if you're one who loves makeup. But also, too, you're kind of balling on a budget, you know. And obviously, you know... Do it to what you like. You don't have to do false lashes. You don't have to do highlighter. You don't have to do um, as full face of I did. This is just what I like to do. So I wanted to incorporate some really nice products to where you can still get the same like full glam look. Just not with like high end or professional, you know, because sometimes not a lot of people can afford that and I understand that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you guys liked it. Let me know down below if you guys want me to do a how I did my makeup in middle school. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every week and hit that little bell button for post notifications for when I 
upload. Ow, I just smacked my finger. Bye!